blessings upon the father of virtues of Fadl Abbas Aysan. Today, inshallah, we are going to be doing some lamentations on his tragic, tragic story that touches so many of our hearts just because so many of us relate to the amazing values that he displayed on that day. And for my poem, I want to take you back, not to the story, I don't, I don't want to take you to the story of Karbala in itself, but I want to take you to the birth of Fadl Abbas and his upbringing. When his mother, Umm al-Banin, who almost taught him to be the father of virtues, teaches him how to pray, and specifically preparing him for prayer in Karbala. She says, My Abbas, whenever you pray, ask Allah to protect Hussein. But don't raise your hands when you make your dua to prepare yourself for prayer in Karbala. My son Abbas, you are young, but now today I'm going to teach you, my beloved, how to pray. The rest of us raise our hands and our palms face the sky. Don't do that, Abbas. You'll make the angels cry. When we have dreams, Allah, we call, but you pray for Hussein, and that is all. Whenever you're in need, you pray for your brother to prepare yourself for prayer in Karbala. When you wake up for Fajr, and your Lord you call, ask Allah for Hussein's morning to be peaceful. And when the Dhuhr prayer calls your name, Abu Fadl, ask Allah to make Hussein's evening blissful. Ask Allah every single day, I beg you, don't let Hussein feel thirsty. I beg you every single day, say this prayer, to prepare yourself for prayer in Karbala. My Abbas, when we pray, we raise our hands. But don't copy us, Abbas. Your Lord, He understands. If you raise your hands, you'll hear crying the heavens. If you raise your hands, Abbas, you'll hear crying the heavens. Why? Because your hands, they smell just like the scent of Karbala's sands. Every morning I kiss your hands and I say they plan and Allah plans. Learn to use your elbows to hold your banner to prepare yourself for prayer in Karbala. My son Abbas, we ask Allah when we're in need and one day they will turn to you to intercede. Our Lord is the one who says, be and it shall be. I spend nights begging Allah, keep safe my Hussein, please. Allah, take all of my children. Just let no pain ever touch him. Ask Allah to take your soul and leave his here to prepare yourself for prayer in Karbala. My tears, they soak the ground when I prostrate, beseeching. They flow like a river <coughs> where I see you crouching. I see for the water your two hands are reaching. I see for the water your two hands are reaching. For you not to drink, my son, I spent years praying. <coughs> my Abbas, don't let me down. Throw that water where it was found. I taught you to offer all others water to repair yourself for prayer in Karbala. My Abbas, when you do fall in Karbala, raise your two handless arms and pray towards Allah. Tell him that you spent your life praying for your brother, but now on this day, you have a wish from your own desire. What's the wish? Say, O oh Allah, before I am slain, let me once again see my Hussein. Try to use your arms to wipe the blood from your eyes to repair yourself for prayer in Karbala. Oh my Abbas, whenever you pray, ask Allah to protect your saint. <coughs> but don't raise your hands when you make dua to prepare yourself for prayer <coughs> in Karbala. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa Muhammad once again. We send our blessings upon the father of virtues, Al Abbas alayhi salam. And today, of course, is a day when our hearts connect to the Musibah of Abbas alayhi salam, and we connect to that Musibah by the lamentations and the poetry. And I want to be joined once again by Sayyid Al Hakim. So thank you for joining us once again. Uh, so, inshallah, you have some lamentations for us. Please do introduce them. And after that, inshallah, Bismillah go ahead. Rahim. So, inshallah, this is a poem. Um, written in a way where it's a conversation between Al Abbas السلام, and Imam Hussein. Each paragraph has its significance and it's a conversation written by our dear brother Saad of Damani. I just want to say what an honor it is to be able to recite for this individual. And this, stu this studio specifically is right behind him. So this is like such an honor right now. And to have it obviously in tradition, this is the commemoration of his night. And for us just to be sitting here commemorating his death from you know 
in a language which is foreign to this nation here is just a, such an honor and blessing. So we have to just thank Allah for this honor. So this poem is written by our dear brother Sadiq Damani. <clears throat> Abbas, please call me by my name, oh please, oh brother. I now feel lonely with you gone who'll be flag bearer I look to you as the bearer of this army You stand so firm and you confirm our safety which now you've fallen, what do I do? You're cut into lay in my lap, be the moon's lamb. That's now your stamp, that's now your stamp. Abbas says, oh, master, how can I say that word? My mother said, this man respects until you die. But oh, master, just one request, remove the blood. From my eyes so I can see you one last time, you one last time. Hussein asks what will I say to Ruqay? You're her hero, a warrior. The first quencher, her heart will break, her fears will wake, come call away. For her, it's like a huge earthquake. For the water's sake, for the water's sake. Picture the scene, the world's just seen a tragedy. Two brothers lay, but one can't say, that's my brother. Abbas says, Master, I bow to protect you. Hussein says, oh, brother, you have peace upon you, peace upon you. As Abbas takes his final breaths upon this land, he looks to see Zainab in grief. Blood by the sun. Abbas says, Oh, Master, leave me to rest here. To their master, a servant can't be buried so near. Be buried so near. And Hussein picks up. The body parts of Al Abbas. Hussein picks up the body parts of Al Abbas. His left and right arms from the floor. But that wasn't all. The flask and the Flag of the army were part of him. This broke his heart back on a part. One last glance, one last glance. Thank you for that beautiful As we know, they say that in every majlis for Mount Sinai Islam, 
uh, Sayyidah Fatima is, is present. So we sent our salams to her and we hope inshallah that she accepts from us this small service in honor of the father of virtues, of Ful Abbas alayhi salam. Uh, we were here today commemorating the tragedy of Ful Abbas alayhi salam. And truly, his story is one that impacts the hearts, not just because of the sadness of what happened to him as a person physically, but also because we learn from how much he gave away, from how selfless he was. They say there was nothing to stop him from drinking water to replenish his own energy, which may have even helped him in the battle. But his loyalty to Imam Hussein Islam and in the wider spectrum of things to something greater than himself, which is something that we can learn as well, was such that he didn't he refused to take a sip of water just because Imam Hussein Islam himself was, th was, was thirsty. That's how much his, his loyalty was. There are even stories that mention that the reason Abdul Abbas Islam was killed was because he didn't actively fight in the battle because Imam Hussein didn't give him permission to fight. He only gave him permission to go and get the water to bring back to the children. And these are lessons that we can learn in our daily lives. Whenever we see someone in need of help, whenever we see someone that needs a hand, whenever we see someone that is poor, living in austerity, living under oppression, that needs something from us. Whenever people come to you and me needing something that might hurt us to give away, that might be difficult to give away, it's in those moments in our life that we have to remember the selflessness of Abu Fala Abbas and we have to begin to ask ourselves when we are here on the 7th of Muharram every single year weeping as we all do over the tragedy of Al Abbas A.S. Are our tears mere crocodile tears where they are just flowing because we find parts of the story sad or are we weeping and crying because we just like Abu Fala Abbas when these moments are presented to us in life we will also give away what is dear to us. We will also be selfless for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and in the way of Mount Sain, Ahlul Bayt and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We are here every single day at 10 p.m. UK time, 12 a.m. midnight Karbala time. We're uh, live from the Holy City of Karbala, which will begin with a show called Welcome to Karbala, which is your opportunity to call in and send your salams and your salutations to Mount Sain Aisana and perform a ziyarat. Thereafter, one hour later, at 11 p.m. UK time, 1 a.m. Karbala time, Said Ali Hakim, my guest right, right now, will be reciting Ziyarat al Ashura live on TV. Thereafter, I will be joining you, inshallah, joined by Said Ali Nawab, where we are discussing the journey of Imam Hussein Ali Salam from Medina to Karbala in the context of what we can learn from that story. And we shall conclude uh, every show just like today uh, with some lamentations in honor of the Ahl Bayt and the story of Imam Hussein Ali Salam. And inshallah, there will be a final show uh, after the eve of Ashura on the day of Ashura itself. Uh, for Shaham Gharibhan, so please stay tuned for that. Inshallah, we'll see you again tomorrow. Wassalamu alaikum jami'an wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.